Who is she? Who is this woman? Who is Jocelyn Edwards? Where does she come from? I told y'all about Jocelyn Edwards a couple of weeks ago. I said that, you know, she's not just a striker. I put it out there. I said that Jocelyn Edwards is a complete fighter. Um, people still kind of didn't know enough about Jocelyn Edwards. I mean, I put it to you like this. Wu Yunnan is no joke. Okay? This was a big test for Jocelyn Edwards. A huge test. She got the short notice call. And in MMA, you have to be prepared for a short notice fight. You have to be. When Jocelyn Edwards got the call, she was ready. I'll tell you something. I know. I get on here and I talk about Dana White's whisker biscuit ball headed ass. I, I, I mean, all the time. And 99.9% of the stuff that I say about Dana White is absolutely true. But one thing that I will say, Dana White, he'll give you a chance. If in his mind he think that you know how to fight, he'll give you a chance, unless your name is Tanisha Tennant. But that's the subject for another video. Listen, man, the fireworks in this fight started. The fireworks in this fight started as soon as the opening bell rang, okay? Wu Yunnan immediately, she stepped to Jocelyn Edwards. I'm talking about she got up in Jocelyn Grill, and Wu Yunnan was landing some clean, solid strikes. And I'm like, damn, this girl Jocelyn Edwards got a beard on her. Because Wu Yunnan was taking, I mean, was, was dishing out some nice little punishment there. But Jocelyn Edwards, she kept her composure. And I like that, man. And I started seeing Jocelyn Edwards take these little pot shots to the body of Wu Yunnan. I started to see it. And uh, I saw Jocelyn Edwards throw a leg kick here. You know, like Jocelyn Edwards, it took her a little while to get going, you know, to really start landing those strikes that she was looking for. But then toward the end of the first round, or like I think they had about two minutes left, Jocelyn Edwards hit Wu Yunnan with the right hand with a right hook, and that stunned Wu Yunnan. She was hurt. But I got to give it to Wu Yunnan. I got to give it to her. Man, Wu Yunnan, I bet you if she was a poker player, I bet you Wu Yunnan would be a damn millionaire as a poker player. Because the way she got punched upside her damn head, You'd have never known, but the legs don't lie. The legs don't lie. And I kind of saw it, and I said, man, Wu got hurt with that shot, man. So Wu Yunnan, she started being a little bit more defensively responsible. She started using a lot of lateral movement, man. She started moving her hands all around. And at first, I'm like, what the hell is she doing? But then I got the method. I understood the method to the madness. I got it. She was really doing a lot to try to confuse Jocelyn Edwards. But Jocelyn Edwards, she kept her composure. She kept going to the body, she kept going to the legs, and then she'll come back on top of the right hand. Jocelyn Edwards, I mean, she kept it coming. Uh, Wu Yunnan was putting a lot of good pressure on Jocelyn Edwards, a lot of pressure, man. Uh, Jocelyn Edwards, she handled that well. So Wu Yunnan goes and gets a takedown, but man, Jocelyn Edwards, she slapped on an arm bar, man. She put that arm bar on, and I thought that that was going to be it for Wu Yunnan. I thought that was it. Nah, man. Wu Yunnan, man. She ate that arm bar. She held on like a champ. I'm to my Wu Yunnan. I was like, nah, man. You ain't tapping me out. And, uh, you know, Wu Yunnan managed to get out of that arm bar. And I said, oh, man. This fight is going it's going three rounds, man. It's going three rounds. Wu Yunnan has improved. She's improved. The last fight that I saw her in, I wasn't all that impressed. But I gotta, I, I gotta admit, man. She's improved. Now we get to round two. And, oh, by the way, I did give round one to Jocelyn Edwards because of the arm bar. Because, I mean, you know, Jocelyn Edwards was cranking that arm and trying to get that thing uh, sunk in. But Wu Yunnan got out of it. But I still gave Jocelyn Edwards round one. Now, round two. Round two, man. Jocelyn Edwards, they get, they meet in the center of the octagon. And uh, Jocelyn Edwards immediately, man, clock Wu Yunnan with a right hand. Wu Yunnan started backing up. And then what she did was she was making Jocelyn kind of walk into her. And then, bam, Wu Yunnan hit Jocelyn. And Wu Yunnan was doing a lot of good body strikes, man. But Jocelyn Edwards ate every single one of those. Uh, Wu Yunnan managed to get Jocelyn Edwards with an eye poke. And so Wu Yunnan picked up on it. Because Jason Herzog, he kind of knew that it was a graze of the eyes. But, you know, he was going to call for a break. But then when he saw Jocelyn still kind of fighting, you know, Jason Herzog just kind of held back and just let him fight. Um, but Wu Yunnan picked up on it, and she immediately just got up in Jocelyn Edwards' ass and, uh, you know, started throwing strikes. But Jocelyn Edwards, man, 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 she gave Wu Yunnan a counter right hand 
And Wu Yunnan was like, oh, oh hell. And then she backed the hell up. Wu Yunnan started backing up. And I said, she got hurt again. So Jocelyn Edwards kind of rolled up on her, pulled up on her some more. And I'm talking about start hitting her with the more significant strikes. See, you, you and when you look at this fight, you'll see like, damn man, Wu Yunnan is tagging Jocelyn. Jocelyn was hitting Wu and she outworked you. She outworked Wu. She was hitting Wu with the more clean strikes, man. I'm talking about when Jocelyn hit Wu, Wu felt that, I mean, <laughs> Wu probably felt that, uh, she probably felt them damn strikes next week. Okay, Wu Yunnan felt them damn strikes next week. Okay, Dana White felt them strikes in the back of his bald head. Jocelyn was hitting that damn girl so hard. So Wu Yunnan started bagging up, man. And then Jocelyn Edwards started just getting confident, man. And then started putting that pressure. So what did Wu Yunnan do? She tried to go for another takedown. Uh, the takedown attempt failed, but she managed to get Jocelyn Edwards on her back. And so Wu Yunnan was like trying to hurry up and run in there so she can get on top. Man, Jocelyn Edwards threw an up kick. I'm talking about she threw like a, a Ricky Morton, a Robert Gibson, a damn, a, 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 a double damn drop kick from the ground. And I'm talking about, man, she kicked Wu Yunnan all up in her PG-13 channel. And I said, oh, man, Jocelyn Edwards is a beast, man. It's a beast. And I thought, you know, Wu got hurt with that, man. So Jocelyn got back up. And she started tagging Wu Yunnan's ass. So we get to round three, man. I thought round three was a little bit more competitive. It was a little bit more competitive. And actually, I gave round three to Wu Yunnan. I gave Jocelyn Edwards the first two rounds. Uh, round three was a little bit more competitive. Uh, but then you see Jocelyn Edwards, man, start turning on the pressure. Like Wu Yunnan, man, she knocked the hell out of Jocelyn Edwards. And Jocelyn Edwards got mad. She was pissed. And so she, she started running. Chasing Wu Yunnan around the down octagon. I said, what? Wu Yunnan. I mean, Jocelyn Edwards chased Wu Yunnan around that damn octagon. I said, damn. <laughs> man, Jocelyn was mad. And then she started tagging Wu in that corner. Wu turned her back. I said, I thought, man, this going to be it. But nah, man, Wu Yunnan, she hugging them. But man, look, this is all Jocelyn Edwards. Man, look, I'm happy. I'm happy that Jocelyn Edwards got this thing done. I'm happy, man. Because, you know, a lot of people were saying, you know, hey, man, Jocelyn Edwards won't be able to handle this, man. She ain't going to be able to handle this kind of uh, this, this, this kind of stage. She won't be able to do it. You know, it's a short notice fight. She ain't had no time to prepare. Man, look, Jocelyn Edwards came in here like a champ. I'm going to tell you, man, when Jocelyn Edwards get a full camp, Jocelyn Edwards going to be knocking people smooth out of Bantamweight. I'm going to tell y'all, man, look out. Bantamweight division. We finally, we got some new blood in that Bantamweight division, man. We got some new blood that's going to shake it up. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harris, and I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the king of underground WMMA talk. I'm done.